What's up? Hey guys, it's Sivan. In this video, I want to go over the difference between first click and last click uh, conversion attribution settings. I've had a bunch of people ask me what the difference is, how to use it, so I thought I'd just make one uh, quick video illustrating and showing you what the difference is and kind of in which case should you use what. So as a basic example, let's start first by going to the two pages we'll be testing with, which is, which are the landing page and the thank you page, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to put a pixel on the thank you page and we're going to experiment and see what each conversion attribution setting will do, okay? The way I have my ClickFunnels set up is that on this page, I have a tracking link. So if you go here at the bottom, if you click on that, the submit page button actually redirects people to the tracking link of the thank you page, okay? And the reason why we have it put as a tracking link is so that we can do experimentation with the pixels. So just letting you guys know what we're doing, how we're setting this up. Um, let me show you the general here. So on submit, as you can see, it's going to go the tracking link here to this thank you page, okay? So let's uh, create our first pixel and let's see what the distinction between them is. So let's go first with last click, okay? So let me start off by first telling you guys the difference between last click and last link link, that's one bundle, and the difference between those and first click and first link link bundle, okay? So last click means last link that was clicked, or first click means the first, the very first either link or organic traffic link that was clicked. So let's start off by last click. So let's create a regular action pixel. Uh, it is not going in a tracking link, so we're just going to copy that we're going to paste it on our thank you page and let's see where that conversion will be attributed to so i'm going to take this pixel go into tracking code put it in the footer section as you can see here and i'm going to click save so let's go back now and let's go through our tracking links and the link setting here is last click so let's go ahead and let's see where this conversion will be attributed to and why okay so i'm going to take this link going to click preview and it should show that unique click and total click and now um, let's imagine you put in an email address I have that off so let's just go on tell me more and now we should see a pixel fire so we should see a unique click on this page here and we should see in an action but a question for you where would you see the action would you see the action here as we would like it to be or would you see the action here in this thank you page link. Let's refresh and take a look. So the pixel didn't fire at all. Let me take a look what happened. Okay, so it took a bit to save that pixel. The pixel wasn't ready instantaneously for some reason, uh, but it is on the page now. So if we go back here, I click to refresh again, and you see that action over here. You see the action on the thank you page link. Now that is not what we want, right? Normally we want to have a landing page and we want all the conversions to show up for that landing dig page. So what happened here? Well, because your setting was last click, what happened was the very last link in this case that was clicked on, that is where the conversion was attributed to. So we have our landing page, and then the landing page takes us to the thank you page link, right? As I showed you, I put in the tracking link to that thank you page for illustration purposes. And because that thank you page link, again, if I go over here and I click on edit page to show you, because this was the last link that was clicked, that is where that conversion will be attributed to, okay? Now, question is, what do you do? Well, in this case, you'd like to have the action show up here, right? There are two things you can do. One is you can just not create a link for this at all. So because you have control of the page, you can put the pixel directly on that thank you page. In that case, you don't need a tracking link for that thank you page. You could simply direct people from your landing page to the primary URL of your thank you page and the pixel will still fire. And because the last link that was clicked by that user was this landing page link, that is where that conversion will be attributed to, okay? So um, I'm not going to waste time doing this, but if I delete this tracking link and I do the same thing I just did, you will see the action show up right here, okay? Now here's another thing we can do. We can go into pixels, pixel builder, 
And instead of having the settings as they are here, we could change it now to first click, okay? So as you can see here, the only difference is that one there. So what I can do is just copy that and paste it here on my thank you page again and maybe give it a moment to load. So I'm going to come here, go into tracking code. So I can either, you know, copy paste this entire code anew or I can just change this to a one and that will do the exact same thing. For simplicity's sake, I'm just going to paste it here. And as you can see, everything is the same except that one here. So now I'll click save. Uh, I'm going to put the video on a hold for 10, 15 seconds just to make sure the pixel stays there. And then let's go ahead and test it again. And I will also reset my stats. I'll see you in 10 seconds. Okay, I'm back. So I checked to make sure the pixel was successfully added to the page. It was. And now let's go ahead and let's see what happens. I re reset my stats. Okay, so let's go ahead and click preview. Let's make sure that the total click and unique click will show up for me. Perfect. Let's click tell me more. And now let's see where that action will show up. So we should see that pixel fire and we should see the unique and total click here. But where will that action pixel fire in? Let's take a look. And as you can see, the action pixel fired here now. Why is that? Because we set the conversion attribution setting to first link clicked, which means whatever the first link from all your links that the user clicked on um, was clicked on first, that is where that conversion will be attributed to. So let's suppose I have an action pixel on the 10th page of this funnel, you know, let's imagine people go from the landing page to the thank you page, to a sales page, to an upsell page, to upsell page two, to a downsell page. And then we have an action pixel there. Where will that action be attributed to? This landing page, because this landing page was the first link that was clicked. So you may be thinking this is a perfect way to set up your pixels. However, there is a slight risk that comes with it. Guess why? If you have a bunch of different links that may not even be related. So over here, I have, you know, cat videos. I have cool car tricks. I have piano links. Guess what? If a user goes on my piano link, they go through the funnel, they don't purchase anything, and, they, and then somehow they end up on my landing page here and they do make the purchase, then guess what? My sale will not be attributed to this link. Instead, it will be attributed to that very first link that they clicked on, which was that we said, what was it, piano link? Okay, so keep in mind, if you set this to uh, first link link or, or first link click or first click, it's kind of risky because sometimes you may have conversions attributed to links that are completely unrelated, okay? So that's what I wanted to share with you. And then one more distinction we have to make clear is between first click and first link click. So I'm going to go back into Pixel Builder. Uh, now, this may be applicable to only click magic or other softwares as well. I'm not sure, uh, but definitely this is important to know. So uh, first link click, for example, and first click are pretty much the same. The only difference is whether you have organic traffic or not. So let's imagine that I have so by the way if you don't have organic traffic there is absolutely no difference for you whether you pick first link click or first click or on the other hand last link click or last click it will not make a difference if you do have organic traffic let's imagine i have an organic traffic link and a person clicks on it and then they go in and they click on my tracking link well if my conversion setting is set to last click or first click then regardless of whether the first click was on a tracking link or on an organic link, that link will still get credit. So if I have an organic link and my setting is first click, then that first click was the organic link. So that organic link will get that conversion. Now, if I have my setting to first link click, for example, then even if a user goes through all of my organic links, and then they land on my tracking link. Well, the very first link they clicked on was the organic link, right? But because we want the conversions to be attributed to the first link click, that conversion will be attributed to the last link they clicked. And, and well, the last, yes, the last link they clicked, but the first tracking link they clicked. So in that case, the conversion will be attributed to that last click they did because all the ones before that were organic links. They were not tracking links. So that is the difference between, for example, first link click and first click. 
and last link click and last click okay so that's the difference between them that's what i wanted to point out so if you want to set it to first click just be wary because you may get conversions to links that are completely unrelated to your product the best bet most of the time you will have your settings set to last click and that will give kind of the most accurate representation but now you see and now you have an idea for how this works and where these pixels will be attributed to so i hope that helped and if you guys have any questions or concerns feel free to leave them down below if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe i cover a lot of different online marketing tools tips tricks reviews etc etc thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in the next video